Hi, welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, your home for the crypto NEO, news, education, and opportunity. My name is Ryan, and I'm going to be your host today. Lucas is heading to Miami to attend the 2022 Bitcoin conference. Uh, we were super excited about his opportunity to get that uh, free ticket through the Coin Bureau. Thank you, Guy. Thank you, Coin Bureau. Uh, we had a video, we did a video recently about how he won a Twitter a Twitter outreach campaign and got the free ticket. So he's on the way. And today the focus is on Evmos. There's some um, some news to touch base. We need to first talk about what Evmos is and then talk about the relaunch. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to highlight some of the playlists we've put together. We have, uh, we'd focus on the IBC. We focus on secret as well, but the IBC broadly. And we have a playlist about how to get started in the IBC, uh, how to get your Kepler wallet, how to download, send, receive, how to choose a validator because, you know, validators are, they are not all equal and, you know, participating is how you're rewarded. So choosing the right one can matter. We also have a whole series on secret network and the, and what, how important privacy is and why secret network is, is unique in that regard. And of course we have videos on airdrops and, uh, news in the crypto space more broadly. We also took, take a, a focused look at the macro picture and we all you know, try to look at and analyze inflation data, supply chain issues, war, monetary policy, and, and try to look ahead to see what, what these factors might mean for crypto and for financial assets in, in general. So these are some of the playlists we do. Now I've said that we focus on the IBC and on secret and, and, it, and it's largely because of how innovative this community, this Cosmos Tinder Mint ecosystem is. Um, so these are all separate blockchains. Uh, Osmosis is the the Dex AMM the, of the space. And the cool thing about these these chains is that because they're all based on the IBC uh, architecture, you can uh, easily move. Uh, you can go. They're 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 brought into communication, so you don't need to go to a third party exchange. Uh, some outside, you don't have to transfer custody you know, and, and, and go to an exchange, a centralized exchange to swap between these. You can do it all from your Kepler wallet and osmosis uh, makes it easy. So the ease of, of switching between these chains is what makes it unique. But then there's also so many things built in, so, many, so much awesome utility built in here. Secret, we've talked a lot about the privacy layer. Uh, Stargaze is huge. That's the best NFT uh, blockchain that, that there that there really is right now. Gravity Bridge is awesome, and and it it's uh it provides a bridge from the Ethereum EVM world to the IBC, right? Connecting these two worlds. And one of the things that makes that so so um, so interesting is that there's so much money in the Ethereum world. There's so much market cap there that is has for a, up till recently been been very difficult to move from that to the IBC, right? You'd have to go through a centralized exchange. Uh, Atom Cosmos was is one of the coins that people would would pull off a central exchange. Terra, Luna Terra is another that uh, was is commonly uh, found. And now Secret has just been added to Kraken. So there are there are pathways to getting into the IBC, but most of them up till recently have come through centralized exchanges. Now. What is changing this is are these bridges that are being built, and Evmos is the kind of the next generation in this, right? So this is a project that's that's all about cross chain applications, bridging the world between the EVM based chains and the Cosmos IBC compatible chains, and that's so this is that's their project, and they and they recently have uh, had some issues that. And I, well, not issues. Let's not let's not say that. But recently, the the chain has had some issues. It's been down. Uh, your balance. If you if you looked at on your Kepler wallet, you might have noticed that your Evmos balance has been um, wiped out. And uh, and there's like a a, a a exclamation mark saying that the chain is not active at the moment. So I want to go to Twitter to kind of recap and see what's going on because there's nothing to be worried about here. So what's going on is there's being a there's a relaunch of the chain and it's the main net that's going live. So if up till now there's been a the beta test net that's been active and so now they're launching the the main net. So we're in the middle of that launch, right? So that's that's what's going on. It's nothing to be worried about. Uh, the main net launch, you're going to be able to do all the features that you can do on the other main nets in the IBC, uh, and we integrated with MetaMask and Ledger and the Ledger 
wallet, right? So you can vote, stake, delegate, do everything out of out of the uh, out of your Kepler wallet. So that's going to be great. There'll, there's a dashboard they're going to work on, and this is a thread I'm just going to go through on Twitter to kind of talk about what some of these what some of the uh, updates are going to look like. Um, Kepler uh, integration is huge. You know that's that's a big deal. This is one of the the tweets that I think we should focus on. So th there's been a question of whether the relaunch will restart from zero or will it continue at the at the previous block height? And they, they say the plan is for it to continue right where it left off. So there won't be anything, um, any, any big question here. The idea is to just pick right up on the previous block and go from there. Um, what else do we need to know? Because this there are some more things to talk about. The, there are some projects deploying on Evmos, and, and we're going to go through a few of them. And this is where the opportunity side of it comes through, because if you're an Osmosis staker or you've been, particip you've been participating in Evmos or you're, and there'll be updates, I'm sorry, there'll be airdrops coming that you will be eligible for. So let's talk about some of those. The first is um, Diffusion Finance, which is an automatic mo uh, market maker, which is launching on Evmos. And it's going to have uh, token, um, tokenomics to help launch other projects and bootstrapping liquidity. There'll be an airdrop. We're gonna, we'll have a link here. You can go to their Discord to get more information. Uh, moving on, there's going to be another AMM called Saddle Finance. And this is going to be about swapping pegged assets and stable coins. Um, there will be uh, voting. There'll be uh, an LP token uh, layer, collateralized loans, liquidity pool token locking. And there's you know lots of stuff going on. They also have a Discord to get involved in. Further, uh, Evmos Domains is launching on Evmos. This is going to be a naming, uh, a naming uh, chain um, facility for you know for websites and domains. Okay, so and then moving on beyond that, Kronos Finance, uh, a Dex that's going to be launching uh, with a focus on a strong user experience. That makes me think about osmosis because the os the user experience on on that uh, dex is just beyond anything i've uh, I've seen in in crypto. So hopefully it's it's even better than that, right? And then next, we're talking about orbital apes, which is a play to earn game and marketplace that will be on Evmos. Uh, this will be a way for nft holders to to uh, earn you know, free to earn more nfts or to um, play it, you know and bring those nfts into a game and you know, create an entire ecosystem along that along those lines. So there's been a lot of a uh, lot of activity on in this front on other chains. So it's you know I'm not surprised to see Evmos. Uh, there'd be something similar on Evmos. Uh, beyond that, there's uh, Exwaswap, which is an AMM which is going to reward validators with a portion of the block rewards. So that's really cool. And there's a, a, a note here that if you if you get your airdrop don't uh and immediately dump it because then you will be excluded from the avalon protocol airdrop so there's numerous airdrops that are being mentioned here and opportunities to join the discord see see what the what what's important for being eligible and what you need to do to do that uh, we'll have links in the description but this is all just to wrap up the update with evmos to say don't worry about the fact that the chain looks like it's down there's, it's just being relaunched and there's a lot of cool things coming. But beyond that, the fact that we're now seeing these bridges built between the IBC and the Ethereum virtual machine community, that's really bullish for, for the IBC in general because there's lots of, of money, wealth, investment that's been locked up in that world that hasn't had an easy time swapping over and moving over to the IBC. There's been numerous firewalls, right? And if you don't want to go to a centralized exchange, and to acquire Atom or to acquire Luna, right? Um, then, then your ability to get in into the IBC is, is is somewhat muted. So now, with these with these with the Gravity Bridge with Evmos, we're seeing that there's a DeFi path to connect connecting EVM the EVM world, the chains, and the Ethereum uh, network, and the Ethereum ecosystem, the ERC twenties. There's a there's a, a way to connect those through decentralized finance straight over to the IBC, and that that will bring I, I would imagine more interest, more um, more investment, more adoption to the IBC. And that's just another bullish uh, case for why this chain and this ecosystem has a bright future. Not financial advice. Need to clearly make that clear. We are not here to tell you how to invest. We are not financial advisors. This is not legal, commercial, or any other kind of 
advice. This is just our research. So take it all with a grain of salt. But with that said, um, lots of cool innovation and development happening on Evemos in the IBC more general. And we will continue to focus on it and to bring it to your attention. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time.